Hi and welcome to our lesson on multiplying by multiples of 10 and 100. Here we have 5 times 20. Multiplying by 20 is the same as multiplying by 2 and then by 10, because 10 times 2 equals 20. So we can change 5 times 20 to 5 times 2 times 10. 5 times 2 equals 10, and 10 times 10 equals 100. So 5 times 20 equals 100. Here we have 6 times 110. Multiplying by 110 is the same as multiplying by 11 and then by 10, because 11 times 10 equals 110. So we can change 6 times 110 to 6 times 11 times 10. We'll multiply by 11 and then by 10. 6 times 11 equals 66. 66 times 10 equals 660. So 6 times 110 equals 660. Here we have 7 times 400. Multiplying by 400 is the same as multiplying by 4 and then 100. We can change 7 times 400 to 7 times 4 times 100. 7 times 4 equals 28, and 28 times 100 equals 2,800. So 7 times 400 equals 2,800. Here we have 12 times 500. Multiplying by 500 is the same as multiplying by 5 and then by 100. So we can change 12 times 500 to 12 times 5 times 100. 12 times 5 equals 60, and 60 times 100 equals 6,000. Therefore, 12 times 500 equals 6,000. Here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 9 times 30. This is the same as 9 times 3 times 10. 9 times 3 equals 27. Times 10 equals 270. So 9 times 30 equals 270. Question 2. 7 times 80. This is the same as 7 times 8 times 10. 7 times 8 equals 56 times 10 equals 560. So 7 times 80 equals 560. Question 3. 6 times 600. This is the same as 6 times 6 times 100. 6 times 6 equals 36 times 100 equals 3600. So 6 times 600 equals 3600. Question 4. 4 times 1200. This is the same as 4 times 12 times 100. 4 times 12 equals 48. Times 100 equals 4800. So 4 times 1200 equals 4800. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.